Welcome to another food adventure with Getting Lost. Today, we are at Chinese Garden MRT Station to visit this place because there's foods like this, also this, and of course this. So, join me at Yuhua Place where we're going to visit Yuhua Food Center to try some of the food there. So let's get going and let's get eating. How to get there? First of all, you have to go to the Chinese Garden MRT station, which where which is where we are now. Okay, and you need to look to, for exit A. So once you get up for the gantry, you turn right, you head down the corridor. Okay, and after you pass the gates, you turn right again. Okay, we turn right. You need to walk all the way straight right until the end until you reach the road. So once you walk down this flight of stairs, the road directly in front of us is actually called Boon Lay Way. So from here you turn left and you walk straight ahead. Okay, follow this uh sheltered walkway and right and walk just keep walking walk straight okay and you can see in the distance there's actually a overhead bridge what you need to do is you need to click towards the overhead bridge and you need to cross the road to the other side okay because on your left is actually the MRT tracks and after the MRT tracks is actually Chinese garden where it's actually a park okay so as you can see over here, the railway tracks and the park. So you just need to cross the overhead bridge. Okay, once you cross it, get down on the other side. As you can see on your left, there's actually uh, some row of shop houses. Okay, so you need to get, get to that direction there. So once you get down the stairs, you turn right and you walk straight ahead of you is actually a bus stop you need to actually walk past the bus stop okay once you walk past the bus stop okay you'll come to this place here which is called which is called yuhua place okay so at you at this uh, entrance here you turn right and you walk straight in you walk straight in, in between the two blocks of shop houses. As you can see, there's some landscaping being done at the moment. So, uh, some upgrading of the landscaping and some of the facilities here, in between here. But just keep walking in between the two uh, blocks of shop houses and here it is we have finally reached Yuhua food center and let's get eating so Yuhua uh, food center is actually half of it is a market a wet market and the other half is a food center okay so at this portion here as you can see there are a lot of food stores so I just guess we have to go in and we'll just have to see what we can eat here. Don't you think so? Okay, so this is the first place we're going to try. It's called Famous Sungai Road Chickshaw Laksa. As you can see, the shop itself let's have another the prices range from 
for the laksa itself, uh, $3 to $3.50. And it says here, quality guaranteed. So I actually ordered the $3 portion for the laksa. So, you know, since their motto is quality guaranteed, I guess we just have to try and see. Okay, so this is the laksa itself. Unfortunately, I actually put in a bit of lime into my laksa, which I shouldn't have. I know I shouldn't have. But, uh, after, so when I took the first spoonful of the, to taste the broth, it was a bit limey. But after a few spoonfuls, you get to the richness and the flavors of the curry uh, broth broke through the lime. Okay, and also we mix in all the chili and the laksa leaf and the cockles. This is actually quite a good laksa. The broth itself is actually well balanced. And then the noodles and especially the fish cake itself together with the soup and the broth actually goes very well together and when you eat it it's like very it the taste goes harmoniously you no know, it like a, in harmony together and it goes very well together like each piece the noodles the fish cake and the soup actually complements each other and actually makes it very nice the soup itself is not too thick not too spicy just right so i really really like this laksa this laksa is really good and also you can tell by the color itself you know, well worth the, to come here to try uh, of course the cockles itself is actually barely cooked but still a very good laksa if you are here this is one of the must try dishes here the next shop Directly next to the laksa shop is a shop that sells porridge. And one thing about this shop is the owner itself actually deep fries the UTL by themselves. So, I mean, if he has, if he has dedication to actually fry their own deep fried dough, it's a good sign for a porridge shop. So, I decided to try some of the porridge. Okay, with the, the porridge I chose, was the boat style porridge by the way the, the name of the shop is actually called Lu Fang Zhou Bing <laughs> it, it sells porridge it's just beside the laksa store so you cannot mix it okay, you cannot miss it okay so I ordered like I said the boat style porridge or congee it cost me around 480 okay first of all I must say I am not a fan of ginger in any sense but when I took the first bite of the, the porridge itself, boom, I was surprised. First of all, the ginger, somehow for me, the spiciness, the kick, the pungentness, just overwhelms all the taste in the food. But surprisingly here, that doesn't happen. Okay, It has a very pleasant and sweet flavor that actually fills your mouth and lingers there which you don't normally get you know, from ginger normally. It's not overpowering, it's just enough. And then, not only that, like I said, the yutel or the deep fried dough, they actually cook freshly here. So, add together crispy, um, freshly cooked deep fried dough with your porridge. And then the porridge itself is good. They make a good porridge. Even without the utel, the porridge itself by itself is very delicious. Ingredients fresh, porridge good. So another must try if you come here. Okay, so what we're gonna try next? We're gonna try this shop here that sells Pakute. The name of the shop is actually called Hua Sing Pakute. And this is the shop itself. Um, there's actually a lot of people, if you come here during lunchtime, a lot of people do like to eat the apakute. The preserved vegetable itself is just ordinary, very savory instead of sour. Okay, one thing, the soup itself is quite peppery, super peppery. So when you drink it, 
you know be prepared for the to be hit by the pepperiness of the soup itself the meat itself i have to say i think it's the piece of meat they give me the meat itself is not very tender but the soup does penetrate into the meat i got one piece of this spare rib that when i ate it actually fall off the bone quite nicely but the other parts because of the the part of the meat it wasn't very tender but overall what's good here is the soup the soup for those people who like super peppery bakute this is for you so when you drink it it gives you a nice big kick pow other than that meat wise the side dishes just so so but the soup is good Anyway, I did finish everything, even though it's just, like I said, the soup is good. So, this is Yuhua Hawker Center, which is quite near to Chinese Garden MRT Station. So, if you do want to get here, you have to come here to get there. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed our food adventure here. Please like, share and subscribe and don't forget to join me for my next food adventure. Bye-bye.